What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I want to talk about the things that I'm looking forward to uh, on release. Really the reason why I'm excited for this game and excited for the next year of Call of Duty. First of all, I'm looking forward to the map design. Uh, now the maps are kind of big, what we got to play at least during the beta. Uh, and they're kind of cluttered, but it's something different in my opinion. Black Ops 4 was more of that kind of traditional style three lane map or most of all the maps, there's those three lane kind of styles. And it's kind of not as fun, in my opinion, to play because you know where everybody's going to be. It's just, can you get there quicker and kind of beat them in the gunfight? With, with the maps that we got to see in the beta for uh, Modern Warfare, I really like the design. It's a little more cluttered. There's a lot of ways to get to certain areas. So it makes you learn the map as a whole instead of just kind of learning where people are going to be, you know, just on every map kind of individually. It takes a lot more to learn a map in its entirety than just learning special spots or, you know, locations where everyone's going to go and just kind of meet up and fight. So I'm really looking forward to learning all the different maps within the game. The next thing that I'm really looking forward to is there are going to be no specialists. Specialists just ruin Call of Duty for me. I'm just not a big fan of them. I have not been a fan of them in any COD that they have been in. And Black Ops 4, I could tolerate them for a while, but after about four or five months of playing it, it just got kind of, I don't know. I'm just kind of disgusted with it. I, I'm so glad that they're not specialists in this game. I, I know some people really like them, but it's just not my thing. So I'm glad that there are no specialists in Modern Warfare. Also, crossplay. I really enjoyed the crossplay beta. I was kind of worried about this, and I still kind of am to a point how it will perform when the game is released. But during the beta, it performed flawlessly, in my opinion. Now, yes, we had connection issues and all that kind of stuff, but. I was not expecting the crossplay to just play as well as it did. It, it was just a big surprise, in my opinion. And I think this it's a good thing, because if you do have friends that play on other platforms, now you're not limited to either having to buy that platform to play with them or just not being able to play with them at all. Now you're able to play with whoever you want, and I think that is a big, big thing for Call of Duty and just for gaming in general. Some games have gone to this crossplay idea. I think more games in the future will especially if the success of Modern Warfare with crossplay is as big as we all expect it to be. I'm really looking forward to all the weapons. We keep hearing all these rumors of how many weapons are in the game, and it's just really exciting to think about all the different weapons we'll get to play with. Now, we got to experience just a few in the, uh, of course, in the beta, but we also know that some weapons you can kind of change. Like if you take the AK, for example, there's certain attachments you can put on the AK to make it an R, a, a RPK. You know, so you can make it an LMG, or you can put certain attachments on it to even make it an AK-74U. So just the, the weapons, just in total, the amount of weapons we're going to have, but also the way that you can change and design these weapons to perform differently, I think it's going to give the game a good bit of longevity because there's going to be a lot of different things to do within, you know, kind of the weapons as a whole. And also, as the video you know, I made a few days ago uh, talking about some different stuff with the game, I did discuss that the rumor right now is there are going to be 80 uh, levels to rank up these weapons. So if that stands true, that's just another thing on top of all the different weapons and all the different ways you can run them. There's going to be a lot of ranking up with each individual weapon. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, it's going to give everyone a lot of stuff to do within the game. Also, uh, a I'm looking forward to playing the campaign. I think they have a lot of different things in this game between campaign, co-op modes, of course, multiplayer, the rumored battle royale. Who knows about that for sure? But I'm looking forward to a good story. Modern Warfare stories are some of the, my favorite. Of course, COD 4 was my personal favorite uh, Modern Warfare campaign ever. But I've always played all the COD uh, campaigns, no matter what the game has been. But over the last few years, they've kind of been lacking in just excitement it's usually just kind of big action and that's really about it uh the stories have not really been story driven or you know interesting to play it's just a lot of action a lot of explosions a lot of fight scenes you know a lot of cool cut scenes but i'm looking forward to this one in particular because of all the stuff we've seen it looks like it's going back to those kind of cod four roots of storytelling and i'm really excited about that and of course the free dlc this year we do not have to buy a season pass I think this is going to be better for the game. I think it's going to be better for longevity of the game. It's going to keep everyone playing, you know, the same thing, going to keep everyone together. It's not going to split up the player base because some people buy DLC or some people buy certain map packs. Everyone's going to have everything, and I think that is a really, really good step for uh, 
Call of Duty in general. I think this is going to be one of the better things along with the cross-platform idea for the game just in general. And last but not least, Ground War and all the other modes that are coming to the game. Now, I know I've talked about in the past, will the pop population of all these modes stay you know, kind of positive or in the good? Will, will enough people keep these modes populated? I'm hoping so, but we do have a lot of variety within this game, and Ground War was one thing that a lot of people... We're interested in playing. I really enjoyed it in the beta. While it's not Battlefield, it is that kind of Battlefield idea. But it was a lot of fun, in my opinion, during the beta. And I'm looking forward to playing more of it when the game is released. Anyway, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.